Hello everyone, this is Jan Kromi and together we will continue the course Interdisciplinary Approaches to Language and its Use 2. In this presentation, we will briefly sketch the history of variationist sociolinguistics, which is typically described as having three waves. Let's start with a reminder of the main principles of variationist sociolinguistics. Lebov came with the idea that language variation is systematic and that this systematicity may be uncovered by the use of quantitative methods. We also said that variationist sociolinguistics distinguishes between social variation and stylistic variation. Social variation reflects the differences between individuals and stylistic variation reflects the differences between the way how individuals speak based on various factors such as their audience. These main principles have not changed throughout the history of variationist sociolinguistics. However, this does not mean that the field of variationist sociolinguistics would not develop anyhow. As any other research field, variationist sociolinguistics has changed both from a theoretical and from a methodological perspective. A prominent figure in this field, Penelope Eckert, argues that we can distinguish three waves of variationist sociolinguistics. The first wave of variationist sociolinguistics took place in the 1960s and 1970s. At that time, researchers focused mostly on social groups defined based on rather general social variables such as age, gender, ethnicity and so on, and they analyzed how do these social groups differ in their use of certain linguistic variables. In this time, many key findings about language variation were published. Importantly, studies in the first wave typically did not put stress on individual differences between different speakers. Instead, they used primarily aggregated results for the whole groups. This is particularly visible in comparison to the next two waves. During the second wave of variationist sociolinguistics in the 1980s and 1990s, it started to be clear that it is not sufficient to relate general social variables such as age, social class, education and so on to linguistic variables. Researchers in, the, in this time stressed out that it is important that the social variables must be relevant for the particular community under examination. Thus, variationist sociolinguistics shifted more towards ethnographic methods. Also, the individual differences started to be acknowledged much more than before, which was especially visible in the research using social network analysis. An important concept which has attracted a lot of attention is community of practice. It can be defined as a group of people who have a common interest, common activities and interact regularly with each other. It has been shown that this shared concern is a key factor in how people use language. The third wave of variationist sociolinguistics represents a more or less current perspective in the field. In the first two waves, most attention was devoted to social variation. This does not mean that stylistic variation would be overlooked, but the study is typically focused on the spontaneous speech. In contrast to that, the approach to language variation in the third wave can be characterized as stylistic. Around the year 2000, several studies were published which viewed style as something active which we use to form our identity. Style is, is thus not perceived as a result of certain pressures from the environment, but as an individual act and as a process of finding position in the social space. Altogether, we may say that the three waves are a useful way how to view the history of variationist sociolinguistics. However, this does not mean that researchers today would not work on studies which can be characterized either first wave-like or second wave-like. The wave's view shows us how the theoretical and methodological aspects of variationist sociolinguistics developed in time but it still makes much sense to do a research relating more general social variables to linguistic variables, especially in cases of languages, which are not well described from this point of view. 
Before we will conclude this presentation, I have one reading tip for you. And this is Sally Talimonti's book, Making Waves, The Story of Variationist Sociolinguistics, which describes the history of Variationist Sociolinguistics from the early studies in the 1960s till about 2010. If you enjoyed the presentations, we would be glad if you would like them on YouTube. That is all from me now. See you next time.